Hey, bud. How are you? How you doing? Good to see you. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to find, though. That's right. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> well, show me around. All right, come on. And you got some family in here? Oh, yeah. We've been waiting for Gary to come out after the house was built so I can see how he directly affected my life and changed things for the better for me. This is my room in here. I got these uh, Japanese doors, so. Yeah, really easy to have. Yeah feels more open when they're out of the way. All the all the doorways, easy for the wheelchair. My transition from the hospital to the home was phenomenal. I guess because I was a bigger fellow, they figured I need a bigger mirror. <laughs> I don't know, but it took up half the wall. There's a lot of you to see. Yeah. Um, I got my independence back. I got my ability to take care of myself and function as an adult again. With the injuries that I sustained, a lot of times when I wake up, I'm tight, my muscles are tight, and I can get in there with those jets, and I can just let that heat and that that pressure and just give me some relief. Yep. Yeah. You don't sweat the small stuff anymore, it's the best way to put it. This is everybody's favorite part of the house. Everybody that comes in is like, oh, I love your shower. It facilitates a lot of things, actually. If I got a clean gear that I come back from hunting, I can do that. Uh, I can give my dog a bath in there and be able to sit down with him and keep him in and not worry about him running off. The smart home technology is what really makes this, this thing shine. When I'm wore out, because normally I push myself to the limit every day, and I'll be wore out, you know, I'll hop into bed. But when you ain't got no legs, when you're like, oh man, I need to get up and do this, or oh man, I need to get up and get a drink, or oh, I need to shut that door and lock it, or close the blinds. Yeah. Yeah. Those things are tedious, get in and out of chair, in and out of chair. So having this is pretty cool. Just reach me, over and grab that. Yeah, allows me to get the house ready for, you know, bedtime, so. It can't get you a drink, though. No, not yet. <laughs> so if you check right behind you, that's the, uh, Blinds closing on their own. I can actually speak through my phone on the intercom to the doorbell when it rings and say, hey, either I'm not here or, you know, you know, I'm not taking any, you know, right. visitors right now. And so it still gives the representation, hey, he's at home. I love to hunt. You know, for me, waking up and hearing creation in the woods come alive is a phenomenal thing. This is my hunting side of things. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty. And it was actually part of the road map that brought me back to myself after that I was hurt. I got a couple cool things over here, like, and I don't know if you know this, this guy, but this is the guy that built my house for me. Oh, who's that? He's pretty genuine. I don't know. You <laughs> might not know him. You might know him. You know. Coming here, this is some of my combat gear. This is a replica of the flak that I wore when I was in Afghanistan. I don't know if that would fit you now. Not right now. <laughs> He's got jokes over here. Hey, you know what else won't fit? <laughs> These won't fit either. No, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you tell somebody to you walk a mile in my shoes. These shoes right here. You know, they've been to hell and back. One of my favorite things about the house is obviously my shop, just because it allows me to be creative. So this is my call company, Hero Calls. I call it Hero Calls because of who I represent as a family in the Marine Corps and, and people that have gone before me and people that are not here today. These are some of the calls I make right here. It's a duck call. Learned how to make duck, turkey, goose, you know, all these kind of different game calls. You gotta know what you're saying. You gotta speak the language, you know? So if the duck's flying and he's 100, 150 yards out and I wanna greet him, I wanna say hello, I just give him a greeting call. <laughs> If he's coming in, I see him working and he's, he's overlooking my decoys, what I got out in the water, and I want him to think that they're feeding and that they're, they're talking amongst each other saying, hey, there's food down here, I'll give him a feeding shovel. <laughs> he's like, hey, there's food down there, I'm coming in. I really love turkey hunting, that's one of my passions. That's my favorite, one of my favorite things to do. So this is what a turkey call, this is not my particular design, this is a buddy of mine's. So what I like to do is when I finish a call, I come out here and test it out. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild, ain't it? And I took Gary back to see some of my turkeys that I have back there. Come on, fellas. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> these are my buddies. Now you bought all of these? I bought three. I, I, raised, I raised the rest. They hatched, I raised them. I think he got a kick out of that. That's probably the closest he's ever been to a turkey uh, in the wild, so he liked it a lot. I'll have the turkey for Thanksgiving. That's about it. You come back for Thanksgiving, we can have one. It just won't be one of these. <laughs> <laughs>